first let me say happy Black History Month. My test came back to 22-2024, which if you're like me, you know I love neurology and the 22nd is a master number. The test was actually done on the 19th and exactly three days later I got my results. So I know y'all are wondering, am I black or not? Meanwhile looking at my black ass AI. Like ninja what? Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to stop bullshitting. This is my first time making a video with AI. So tell me what you think in the comments. On to some of the things I like about African ancestry is for one they're black oh. They don't keep my DNA. The customer service is bomb AM. They're doing the work no one else would. I am 99.7% from Nigeria and linked to the Canary Group. Disclaimer this is research done online and all may not be facts. If you're wondering who Canary people are, I was too. So I did a little research and found out some more information. I will share in a minute where are Canary people located. The Canary people are primarily from the northeastern part of Nigeria, specifically in areas like Borno, Yo, and parts of Jugawa states. They are also found in neighboring regions of other countries in the late Chad Basin, including southeastern Niger, western Chad, and northern Cameroon. The Canary are known for their rich cultural heritage and history, closely linked to the Canaan Bornean Empire, which was a powerful and influential state in the region from the 9th to the 19th century. This empire played a significant role in the transatlantic slave trade and in the spread of Islam across West Africa. What are some things about Canary people in Nigeria? The Canary people are a significant ethnic group in Nigeria, as well as in neighboring countries such as Niger, Chad, and Cameroon. They are known for their rich history, culture, and contributions to the social and political landscape of West Africa. Here are some key points about the Canary in Nigeria. Why? Historical significance. The Canary are traditionally associated with the Canaan Borno Empire, which was a powerful state from the 9th to the 19th century. This empire was known for its military prowess, trade routes, and Islamic scholarship. 2. Location In Nigeria, the Canary are primarily found in Borno State, which is in the northeastern part of the country. They also live in Yob and Jigawa states. 3. Language The Canary speak the Canary language, which belongs to the Nilo Saharan language family. There are several dialects of the Canary language, with Central Canary being the most widely spoken. For religion, Islam plays a central role in Canary culture, having been adopted in the region as early as the 9th century. The Canary people have contributed significantly to the spread of Islam in West Africa, and their society is heavily influenced by Islamic traditions and scholarship. Side culture and social structure, Canary society is structured around kinship and lineage, with a strong emphasis on community and family ties. Traditional Canary culture includes unique practices in marriage, cuisine, and dress. Music and storytelling are also important aspects of their cultural heritage. 6. Economy Historically the transatlantic slave trade, dealing in commodities like salt, slaves, gold, and ivory. Today, their economy is predominantly based on agriculture, livestock rearing, and three. 7. Political influence. The Canary have played a significant role in the political spheres of Nigeria and neighboring countries. They have a history of establishing powerful dynasties and engaging in diplomacy with other states and empires. 8. Challenges. Like many other ethnic groups, the Canary in Nigeria face challenges such as political instability, especially with the insurgency of Boko Haram in the region, which has affected their way of life and security. The Canary people's rich history and cultural heritage continue to play a significant role in the fabric of Nigerian society. Their traditions, language, and practices contribute to the diversity and cultural richness of Nigeria and the wider West African region. What is the Canaan Bornu Empire? The Canaan Bornu Empire was a significant African state that existed for over a thousand years, from around the 9th century until the 19th century. It was located in the area surrounding Lake Chad, encompassing parts of what are today Chad, Nigeria, Niger, and Cameroon. This empire emerged from the Canaan Empire in the 9th century and later established its capital at Bornu, leading to the name Canaan Bornu. The empire played a crucial role in the trans-Saharan trade, facilitating the exchange of goods such as gold, salt, slaves, and ivory between North Africa, the Middle East, and Sub-Saharan Africa. It was also a center for Islamic scholarship and culture, having adopted Islam in the 11th century under the reign of Mayhame. The conversion to Islam strengthened its political structures and extended its trade networks. 
the Kane and Bornu Empire had its periods of expansion and decline, influenced by internal dynastic struggles, external threats, and the changing dynamics of regional trade routes. At its height, the empire was a dominant regional power, exerting influence over a vast area and numerous peoples. The decline of the Kane and Bornu Empire in the late 18th and early 19th centuries was due to a combination of internal strife, the rise of powerful neighboring states, and the impact of European colonization. Despite its decline, the empire left a lasting legacy in the region, particularly in terms of its contributions to Islamic learning, architecture, and the spread of Islam in West Africa. So what happened to the empire? The decline and eventual fall of the Kang and Bornu Empire were due to several interrelated factors. 1. Internal conflicts and dynastic struggles. The empire was often plagued by internal disputes and power struggles among the ruling elite. These conflicts weakened the central authority and made the empire more vulnerable to external threats. 2. External invasions and pressure Throughout its history, the Kane and Bornu Empire faced invasions and raids from neighboring states and nomadic groups. Notably, in the 14th century, it faced significant pressure from the Bilala invaders, which forced the empire to move its capital from Kane to Bornu, giving rise to the name Kane and Bornu. Later, in the 19th century, the empire faced threats from the Filani Jihad led by Usman Dan Fodio, which established the Sokoto Caliphate and significantly reduced Kane and Bornu's influence. 3. Economic decline The empire's economy, heavily reliant on the trans-Saharan trade, suffered as trade routes shifted away, partly due to the growing European maritime trade along the West African coast. This decline in trade revenues weakened the empire economically. For European colonization, the scramble for Africa and the subsequent European colonization had a profound impact on the Kane and Bornu Empire. By the end of the 19th century, European powers, particularly the British and the French, had begun to establish control over the region. The empire's territories were divided between the British and French colonial empires, with the majority of the Kane and Bornu region becoming part of British Nigeria and parts of it falling under French control in Chad and Niger. By the early 20th century, the Kane and Bornu Empire had effectively ceased to exist as a political entity. However, the legacy of the empire remained significant in the region, influencing the culture, language, and Islamic practices of the people in northeastern Nigeria, southeastern Niger, western Chad, and northern Cameroon.